Hello friends, you have probably seen trains which have wheels and run on tracks, conventional one. But there are now trains which have no wheels. Even more surprising, they actually float. Yes, they float. We call them magnetic trains or maglev trains. In the 21st century, there are a few countries using powerful electromagnets to develop high-speed trains called maglev trains. The first patent for magnetic levitation, maglev technologies, were filed by French-born American engineer Emil Bachelet in the year 1910. How maglev trains work? If you ever played with magnets, you know that opposite poles attract and like poles repel each other. This is the basic principle behind electromagnetic propulsion. Electromagnets are similar to other magnets in the way they attract metal objects. But the magnetic pull is temporary. You can easily create a small electromagnet yourself by connecting the ends of a copper wire to the positive and negative ends of a cell battery. This creates a small magnetic field. If you disconnect either end of the wire from the battery, the magnetic field is taken away. The magnetic field created in the wire and battery experiment is the simplest idea behind the maglev or magnetic train rail system. There are three components to this system. First one, a large electric power source. Second, metal coils lining a guideway or track. Third, large guidance magnets attached to the underline of the train. Maglev or magnetic trains have powerful magnets both in the train and on the track below. The train's engine has a motor that creates a magnetic field because of this field, the train does not touch the track, but floats a little above of it. Because there is no friction, the train can move at a speed of 500 km per hour. Magnetic trains or maglev trains move smoothly and quietly. They use less energy than most other forms of transport. In spite of that fact that they are fast, smooth and efficient, that doesn't change the reality that these systems are incredibly expensive to build. Roughly about 50 million to 200 million per mile in the estimated expenditure. In Asia, though the maglev boom is essentially already underway, Japan is working on a Tokyo to Osaka route that may open by 2037. When it completes, the train will slash the nearly 3 hour trip to just 67 minutes. The 6 operational maglev lines are Shanghai maglev line is the fastest operating commercial train. There are another 5 maglev lines in the world for public use. There are 2 more in China, 2 in South Korea and 1 in Japan. Friends, hope my video has helped you to understand how magnetic trains work. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.